welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we have a journal flip through, which are the best videos. I honestly wish I could do them all the time, but I don't fill out journals that quickly. This is the journal I'm going to be flipping through. This is my fourth journal. It took me almost exactly two months. Let's just get right into it. Also, um, I have a little bit of a different setup today. Got some little pumpkins and a moody lamp. I don't know. We're trying this out. Okay, I tried to resituate a little bit, so the frame might be a little different. So this is the journal. It got kind of thick, like usual. I put two of my stickers on the back. This is when I was like testing them out and was like throughout the process. So these are some faulty stickers that I just needed to use up and I ended up putting them on the back of my journal. And then as you can see, the spine is a mess on this journal. I did a little life hack thing on my TikTok where I showed that I actually filled the spine with glue, but I kind of didn't get it into the center enough. So it's kind of just on the edges, but it did help pull it together a little more but yeah this journal's pretty damaged so this journal is a moleskin journal and yeah i'm not getting a moleskin again the pages were too thin and by the end of the journal i was just taping pages together because that was my solution to the thin pages in the end and then also as you can see it didn't hold up very well so yeah this journal is kind of a mess but the reason i splurged on a moleskin journal was because i was obsessed with this color on this journal and I still love this journal. I think it's so pretty and I love the theme. I went for the stickers so I'll put a little eye card thing for when I decorated this journal because I really like how this journal turned out. This sticker though has been bothering me this whole time because it keeps trying to come up. Anyway let's open this thing up. So we open it up and these were some of my first stickers that I experimented with. This was in the very beginning stages of when I was trying to make stickers. And then this is just some decorative paper and I made this little flower pattern for the beginning part of my journal. So I have showed this before but I added my own stickers to it. I still love this pattern. I love my star stickers. I use them a lot. So this is volume four obviously. I love calling them like volumes. I don't know why I feel fancy or something. I started this journal on July 21st, 2020 and I ended it on September 19th, 2020. So it was almost exactly two months. If I used this journal for a couple more days, it would have been exactly two months. And also like I consider that pretty fast for this journal. I felt like this journal had so many pages in it. So then we have my little welcome page and these are just decorative. I used a card to write in it and I repeated this flower pattern so it'd be a little cohesive. Ended up not having much to write on this so looks kind of empty. But yeah, really pretty card. Then we have my first spread which was on July 21st. Um, these were some balloon stickers that I was experimenting with making stickers. In this journal there's a lot of me making stickers in the process of that so yeah I ended up not doing anything with these but I really liked how this page looks. And then this is like this whole thing is like probably one of my favorite spreads in this journal. Yeah I just really like how I decorated it. Like I have my stickers here and there's a fortune cookie and I just really love it. Then I talked about starting my Etsy shop. My journals are basically another form of what's going on in my mind. So this was what I was thinking about and what I wanted to write down and plan because I never made a separate journal for my Etsy stuff. So I was sampling designs and stuff and testing things out. And then some random AliExpress things came in the mail, which I ordered these like months ago when I received them. So it was a big surprise to me when I got them. Then this was before school started, so I was thinking about what I had to do before I went back to school. Then this was just another day, and I actually like how I did this. I put in this little piece of paper. It was from my AliExpress order, and I used it as a list, but then I made a little kind of shadow. Then here's another random day, and these are like from tea bags. And here's prototype two of my stickers, and I think these are actually like the final designs. These still haven't been sorted out. I think I'm just gonna redo them. I've already redrawn them, so we'll see if I actually ever put those on my Etsy, but I do love using those stickers, so I feel like I should. 
and this is just a continuation. And by the way, these stickers, the shark one and the Toy Story ones, I found those at Dollar General X, so DGX, I think that's what it's called. I don't know, it's some other version of Dollar General, and they had those stickers. So this I had some extra sticker paper, and I decided to try to make my title on it and I really like that so it's a cool way to use that extra sticker paper. This was my latest sticker design so I wanted to include it and I love these memo notes but I love like the aesthetic of the beginning of this journal like this is just very my style. Saturday this is at night I guess. Sunday this was another sticker that I needed to use up because it wasn't like printed properly or something just random days and this is just like a really random spread but I was trying to think about how I could create an income for myself Tuesday and Wednesday and on Wednesday July 29th I had 230 subs also on this day I like included my coffee thing so this kind of shows how I incorporate things throughout my days this was for my Starbucks coffee i like including um my subscriber count or like some kind of thing where it's documenting my progress oh well, maybe it's youtube or now tiktok it's just cool to look back on thursday got my kirby sticker same deal with the others when i'm using these nice stickers in here it's most likely because there's something wrong with it and i need it to use it up this one i had a tea bag thing it's one of those tea bag tags i guess that have like kind of a little quote on it it says peace of mind comes piece by piece this was just a doodle day. I, I might have showed some of this in that journal with me, but this was definitely in the journal with me where it was journal with me in a hammock. So that I'll put it in an iCard up for that. But yeah, I did a spread about my future, which now I have a film journal. Well, I call it a film and media journal because it's not just film. It's like TV shows, music. It's really whatever I want to put in it. And that's where I would put this kind of thing now. I like doodling sometimes and I'll do like a full page of doodling. This I did a July favorites. I'll go through my favorites for everything. So my favorite YouTuber in July was I'm Alex. I love him. My favorite podcast was Deeper with the Dolan Twins because they're actually vegan too. Like I found out I have some like some like random similarities with them. Also one of them's obsessed with tiny houses so it was just fun to hear about all those kind of things on their podcast. Then book was on Honeymooners. That's a really good book. Mayana Reads recommended that and that's why I read it and it was so good. Then I watched Gilmore Girls and I just recently finished it and now I'm gonna have to start re-watching it. And then for coffee, I had been liking Duncan at the time and also my favorite local place. Here's Saturday, I guess this was August 1st and I have like my little boba thing. So here I have video ideas. I like to do that a lot in my journals just to get ideas I'm having off the top of my head along with sticker ideas as well. Then I ordered from Maya's Cookies, which best thing ever. This is an online cookie place that is a black owned business and they're all vegan cookies. I mean, there's nothing better. So those cookies were great and I had to include things in my journal about it. I also got stickers from them, but those are my individual stickers. Then more preparation for school because I stress out about that a lot. Then I talked about my dream future. I think that's a really fun spread to do and I love the designs I did for it. The light blue and the stars and the clap. You know, love it. Pastels. Yes. Then I just did a brain dump because I just needed to get things off my mind and oh my god this is still August 1st. Okay so August 1st starts here and then we have this page, this page, this page, this page, this page. That's all August 1st. Day. Then we have Sunday. I guess I had some more doodles. I did this random collage. I don't really know why. I think I had seen people do that in their journals where they collage and it's all cool. I don't really know how to do that. But it says, don't take life too seriously, which is true. So maybe I shouldn't take that collage looking ugly so seriously. Monday. I don't know if you have ever heard of what CoStar is, but that's what I put down here. It's like what it said. CoStar is an interesting app. If you don't know what it is, it's technically like an astrology thing, but basically they just tell you something every day and sometimes it's scary accurate and you're like where are you and sometimes they're just way off this was launch number two i guess i was testing out stickers again these aren't even the finals that i went with they're a little different than the final then i had notes on a podcast that i was listening to tuesday 
this page is so like looks so dirty because of this so i guess i was talking about like my future and this page <laughs> i have no idea why i did this but this page i made it look like a composition notebook cover and i put a quote in the inside of it it looks cool but it also makes this one look horrible and then also this took a long time like i drew all of this but yeah the quote says do something today that your future self will thank you for that was more of tuesday so this is a continuation of someday a false reality or a future reality okay that's oh my god i know what i did here oh that's so interesting okay so here i was kind of trying to manifest and i wrote down like basically what i wanted my future to be like a scenario in my future that's kind of interesting oh a series of unfortunate events that day doesn't sound too fun this is when i got my license very exciting this had been something that was a big goal of mine for a while so that was super exciting and and then I got a t-shirt from Urban Renewal that came in. I've been working on shopping more sustainably, particularly with clothing. I got a shirt from them and I really like it more school stuff did a lot of planning for school because i just kept thinking too much about it and i just needed to write down what i needed to do and stuff friday i had a little michael's haul well this stuff was from michael's this wasn't this was just decorative and it makes it look like it's a quote but that's just a post-it note saturday this is when i went to move my sister into college or like it was to move her into her apartment dream journal i was actually designing like what i wanted a journal to be like i mean one day i want to create my own journal i think that would be so cool so yeah this was a haul from staples i actually filmed a haul with that stuff and i never edited edited I never edited. Is that a word? Anyway, I never edited it. So if you have any interest in that video, let me know because the stuff I got from Staples was really cute and I kind of like the setting of where I filmed it because it was in a hotel room. It's kind of fun. I don't know. Sunday, I was still out of town helping my sister move in. Same day. And this day as well, I was also out of town out of town and then this is the page that my sister decorated for me because she was going to be gone this is what she left me with and i got a film camera a little disposable one to take pictures while i was there i need to go get those developed then we went to the science museum there and there's like this whole peak pass thing and it was really cool it was this health exhibit and you gotta test all these things about yourself it tried to tell me that i was 4 11 and a half but i'm five feet so <laughs> this was me thinking about the exterior of my tiny house this ended up just being more of a for fun thing because i don't think my tiny house is gonna look like this i made some journal prompts i made a whole list of journal prompts and i ended up putting it on my tiktok so people can check out these ideas if they're stuck on what to put in their journal this was wednesday and it was the day i was driving back long drive <laughs> i always love when there's like pieces of my day so it's subway but this one just had a lot of stickers when i got home I had some packages waiting for me, and one of them was my All Things Lillian package. So cute. I love her. Her shop is so cute. I literally just ordered stuff from her today because she had a launch today. Every time she launches now, I always need to buy something because I love her. So this came with it, and it's so cute. She said it's like a little free print almost. So I really like how that turned out. So I put some of the pink tissue paper that came with it and stuff. Friday, minimize. I was trying to minimize my stuff i don't know why this page is like tearing off saturday went to duncan i guess monday please don't make me to go to school that is how i feel those stickers depict how i feel tuesday and this is shiny text wednesday oh i like this kind of spread i don't know why the paper cutouts i love how i put the little cutout of how many subscribers i have as you know i like documenting that i hate school please don't make me go to school i don't want to go to school i don't want to do the work i don't want to see the people if you can't tell i hate school and i never want to go back so yes that is how i feel about school thursday my life so i guess i was just trying to plan i was thinking way too much about the future in this time loving these rainbows not gonna lie friday and saturday i made a little to-do list sunday this was just like a random writing i never filled up this page completely but i like the stickers i chose monday 
ways to fill mini journals. So I was trying to brainstorm ideas for this. I'm just going to tell you this now because I don't know if I'm ever going to end up doing that video. So here are ways you can fill up mini journals. Yeah, you can read that. The one I have tested out is the mood tracker. I haven't kept up with it, but I do like the idea. Then we have Tuesday. Oh, here I did YouTube count and TikTok count. Now my TikTok has passed my YouTube, which is for some reason a little sad for me. I think it's because I've had my YouTube for a while and it's like, why is it like easier on TikTok? I want my YouTube to do well, not my TikTok. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Here I was talking about Boston and New York. I love both of them and like the city. And I've only been to New York once, but I just can't stop thinking about going there. Maybe I should live there one day because I just miss it so much. Then there's Saturday which I included this page, both of these pages, in my aesthetic photos video. Here I was really wanting fall, so I just like needed to express that on paper. And I kind of showed little fall things, layered clothes, chilly breeze, hot coffee. Then we have Sunday. I think this is one of my favorite spreads with the cute photos and the title. And then like all the add-ons I put on. I just really love how this page turned out. I had a little to-do list here. I also like how these pages turned out. I did a page on skincare, which was kind of cute and aesthetic. Both of these pages feel very aesthetically pleasing to me. This is a little wish list, because why not? I don't know. I was just making stuff up, honestly. I just thought it'd be fun to make a spread and like just think about that. I don't know. It was fun. Here I did a little quote. I'm not sure how, but I will. A little life update. Books I wish I were reading because I was really sad that I wasn't reading at this time just because I feel like school makes me not read. Especially summer reading too. Like I feel like they, they set all that stuff up in schools so that we will read but it just causes me to not read the books that I actually want to read which sucks because then it makes me hate reading and I love reading. So yeah, I was just thinking about books that I was wanting to read. Yeah, thanks a lot school. You also have ruined reading for me but I'm still trying. I'm still trying but I'm reading a lot slower now. <laughs> Over the summer, I had a great time reading and I read a lot, which was new for me. Then I did like a little weekly plan and I like how this page turned out too. Like this feels straight out of planner. This is like, this was nice. Monday, Tuesday. I think this was like a rainy day. So I kind of made that the background with some pens. This was September 1st. I did things that I'm like grateful for and stuff and what I want to manifest, I guess. Here is Wednesday. Then I did YouTube video ideas. Ooh, that's fun. Then Thursday. More of Thursday. And then I wanted to do some kind of page, so I just tried to be inspiring. And then I got to fill this up. It was pretty satisfying. Just so to keep going. Friday, which I honestly don't really like how that title turned out, but I tried. I did one of these currently things. I didn't finish filling this up, but sometimes I try to do little updates on how I'm feeling because sometimes when I'm writing about my day, I get too caught up about that day, specific day and stuff. Sometimes I just want to go over how I'm generally doing and how things are going. Here I made a quote page. It says, you're trying your best. Just keep going. You got this. I think I just made that up. Here Saturday included my tea bag. This I meant to do in like my second journal and this is my fourth journal. So I've had these printed out for a while but I finally put it in. So this is my corona memes page. This is from March. So <laughs> things have changed. <laughs> things have changed a lot. A lot of them are still funny to me so they're just mainly introvert memes. Like, here, when you find out your normal daily lifestyle is called quarantine. In this one, society, I hate 2020. Me, who wish for no school, waking up late every day, social distancing, and having more time to play games at the start of 2020. I love this meme base. I could, I could read all of these, but I'm going to restrict myself. Okay, actually, one more. I'll read this one because I, I really like this one. <laughs> Me outside, getting my daily five minutes of sunshine before crawling back into my dark abyss. Then says hope you enjoyed also i trimmed down this page so it's like these all look like it's one page all kind of goes together sunday and then this i ordered a sticker off of etsy it was wear a mask sticker 
this one. The packaging she used was so cute. I had to make a spread. Like she included this tape on the envelope and I just loved everything. So this is Brooke.illust and she is on Etsy. She makes really cute stickers. This one I was just writing how I feel. But I tried to be positive at the bottom. I said it's going to be okay. Monday. I like this spread too. I think these little aesthetic pictures really add something, honestly. Just talking about my journal. <laughs> oh my god, this is a random thought that I had in the shower. I said, um, a phobia is a fear. So when people are homophobic, they are afraid of people who are attracted to the same sex. Same with people who are transphobic, they are afraid of people who are transgender. So look who has the power here. We need to start approaching it that way. Take the power back. Tuesday. These are just some notes and I ended up gluing them in here. Like I like taking random pieces for my day. These I just wrote them down to jot down stuff. Including them adds like something else to my journal. I don't know. TikTok ideas and then here's some random doodling because you know I like having some random doodle pages. I like how this one turned out I think. I just sent doodling doodles. I don't know. September. This wasn't supposed to be like a title page for September because it was already September when I was making this. It was past the beginning but I was just really into fall. I'm just so excited about fall and so I wanted to make a very fall themed page and so that's what I did and it just says it's September. Fall is in season. It wasn't technically fall then but it's fine. It was very fall. This I literally just had this temptation to rip up the pages. So I ripped this page and I said how I feel because that is how I felt. And I, I felt like ripping this up in case I didn't remember. I don't know. <laughs> it was therapeutic. Do things in your journal that feel therapeutic. Here are some random things. Like this was an eye patch that was like deflated. Like it used to have gel in it that you could freeze but that like evaporated somehow. So I just stuck it in here. And this was an old business card that I found. I used one of these business cards in my very first journal, so I've had that for a while. I found this stuff just while cleaning my room. Wednesday, I did this spread about WAP because I was so confused why people were making it such a huge deal. A lot of people were, like, against it. Well, it was mainly guys who said that it was misogynistic, which that's not for them to decide, so that was really annoying me. I think it is empowering, and I think the reason certain people don't like it is because of misogyny and i'm not saying all people that's not for all people but i was just seeing a lot of videos on tiktok where it was like like men getting mad about this song and then it's you listen to you listen to a lot of other raps and it's like them talking about beating up women and stuff and it's like um what are you talking about <laughs> Here I was trying to like practice some calligraphy type things and play around with that kind of stuff. I really like how that looks honestly. And I put some of these in. This is actually the day that I got these die cuts. I got them from Joanne's Fabrics and they're called die cuts. And they aren't stickers, they're just these paper cutouts. And I love them so much. So I have a ton of butterflies and stuff. So I use like a lot of butterflies in this journal and like in my next journal and yeah. I think they add so much to journals and I need to find more die cuts now. Thursday, I did doodles. These I did during school, so I brought my journal to school. I did all of this at school, actually. This was in school, I was bored. And then I practiced these headers in school. And I think I liked how these turned out better than the other ones on the previous page at the time. I don't know how I feel better now. But I like this one because it looked like an ice cream cone. I got mail. This is Ella Hosp. You can look up her information, but she's Ella Hosp on TikTok and she has an Etsy. And I really love the sticker that I got from her. And then I also got some red bubble stickers in the mail. This was Thursday evening and I had some tea Friday and Saturday. I'm just going to skip a page because it gets a little too personal. And then there's Sunday and I like how this turned out. I just did to do and videos that I wanted to make. Here we hit 390 subscribers. I love documenting this and like I get super excited. So when it's big on the page, it's because I get really excited and I just really want to. I got this from the newspaper. I just saw it and I was like, oh, that's like relevant. That would be cool to put in my journal. It says Oracle wins bid for TikTok. And at the time I thought that meant that TikTok was being saved. But uh, no, that's not what that means. TikTok is not doing well right now. 
and this was a continuation of the day and for my check-in for my class for my latin class i had to draw b which is apis in latin it's just a weird doodle then i was like thinking of ideas for stickers love doing that i cut out this newspaper just for decoration here's photos i realized i hadn't put photos in for a while it's because my printer is acting up i don't know what to do about it so if anyone has the canon selfie please let me know if you've ever dealt with it saying that there's a paper jam and like you've tried literally everything you could do and it's not changing anything and it's not working that would be great so these are just throughout the days and i dated each one to show so i could correspond it i really think adding personal pictures to your journal adds a lot and i highly recommend it so i felt like i really needed to do that because it's one of the best things to look back on if i look through journals i don't really do that but one day here i have more of the newspaper as like decoration kind of and i really like how the spread turned out i tried <laughs> i put like one of these butterfly die cuts that i was talking about and these B stickers. These B stickers and the die cuts both were from Joanne Fabrics and I tried to do something fancy for the title. This was just a little memory. I found this image on my desktop on my computer and it was just from this summer. I got this sweater weather sticker thing from the dollar section of Target. I also have another one for Halloween that says Happy Halloween, which will go in my current journal. I thought they're super fun. They're like felt stickers and these pumpkin stickers were also from the dollar section of Target. So you can find some stickers there. I also found some bat stickers, so I'm prepared for the season. This it's Wednesday. This is kind of a mess. I used this pink gel pen. Yeah, it's kind of a mess, but I tried to save it. It didn't really work. So I set up this page and stuff, and it's titled Compulsory Heterosexuality, which I think is a really interesting concept, and I wanted to talk about that in my journal, but I never ended up writing about it. Maybe I'll come back and fill it in, or maybe I'll talk about it in my current journal. I do recommend, like, you researching that. It's basically just about how, how we're kind of trained that being straight is like the default in society. I don't know. It's really interesting. And also this far in the journal, a lot of these pages are starting to be taped together. So they're double pages. So they're, they're thicker. Probably should have done that earlier in the journal because some of these pages are so thin. This is just like little things that I put in. This was from my paper gang box. I love paper gang. And this was the packaging to the glue. It's square glue. We'll talk about that in a second. And then this is to my coffee. Now I'll tell you what I'm laughing. The reason I'm laughing about the glue is because I actually made a video on my TikTok about this glue. This is a square glue stick. It's Japanese and you can just get it off Amazon. It came in a pack of five and it's a square so that it perfectly gets those corners. So I just brought up this glue stick because I got it in the mail. Thought it was cool. It's like, oh, let me just film a quick TikTok about this. Well, now it has 76.3 thousand views. By far my most viewed video. And it was all about a glue stick. It was all for this glue stick. I just think that is so funny. The thing that gets views on my TikTok is a glue stick. So yeah, that's the glue stick. Here's Thursday. Here we were getting to the end of the journal. So September 17th, 360 TikTok followers, super exciting. Then I put this quote, life changes very quickly in a very positive way, if you let it. That's Lindsay Vaughn. Put this die cut in here too. I really love how this page turned out. I think this is one of my favorite pages. And the reason for this, I was inspired by my paper game box, these like stickers and this paper I got from the box. So I was incorporating those things. This was from one of my paper game boxes. I glued it in here and uh, yeah, I like wrote around it. As you can see, like TikTok, YouTube, those are all like big things in my life. And so I will include like progress things for those things in my journal a lot because those are things that really excite me then oh my god this page makes me so sad <sighs> i actually mentioned this in my last video ruth bader ginsburg passed away and that is a very very big deal she's such a cool person and made such a big difference in this country especially for women and now i don't know what's going to happen and honestly i was really upset the night this happened partially because like i don't know what that means for my future with our current president who he puts in this position i don't know what that means for my future because she fought for my rights and so that's a really scary thought um 
Yeah, so that really made me feel a lack of control. Saturday, here, I did a TikTok about this. This, I made a digital spread, and this spread is about this day. So I wrote here, and then I made this digital spread with the pictures that I took, because I knew I wanted to take pictures, but I just decided why not assemble those pictures and design it before I print out the pictures. I added some stickers around it and stuff. It's just a very full day and i was very excited about it and then because i did this it ended up being my last day of the journal so that was the day i ended this journal so goodbye journal number four i ended it out on september 19th i just added some scrap paper and yeah that is it back here is the pocket i decorated it with some of my own stickers and then back here i have some of my own stickers i should take this out now i actually have money in here so whoever finds this journal if i lose it i guess i can keep it or maybe that's just a surprise for my future one day i'll get twenty dollars for my journal these are the stickers that i love so yeah that is this journal journal number four next journal is a big number journal number five is just a super exciting number i'm excited for this journal i think this will be one of my favorite journals even though it did not hold up very well thanks to moleskin never getting a moleskin again thank you for watching this video hopefully you enjoyed it oh my god it's like tearing up over here okay let me know what else you want to see from me like if there's anything specific that you're really wanting for me to make i mean i can only make so many videos at a time so if you've suggested something and i haven't done that that's probably why thank you so much for watching this video and especially getting to this point in the video and i will see you in my next one